To perform this work, you will need to safely raise and support the vehicle. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. We're going to alternate between left and right side as we show you how to do this because it's the same for both sides. This image illustrates a left side rotor. You need to remove the 36 millimeter 12 point axle nut, green arrow. Open up the locking tabs, yellow arrow, that pinch the axle shaft and prevent the nut from loosening up over time. Use a straight edge drift chisel and tap in the direction of the blue arrow to gradually open the pinch of the nut on the axle shaft. Remember, as always, you need to be wearing eye protection when you're working on your vehicle. Here you can see the top right pinch has been tapped away, green arrow, and the lower left still needs to be moved some more. Use a 36 millimeter 12 point socket and remove the axle nut in a counterclockwise direction. It is on there tight. If you have an impact driver, it's best to use that. Otherwise, plan on a breaker bar. This nut will be very tight and needs to be properly torqued to make sure it does not loosen and also does not crush the wheel bearing that mounts in the hub in between the axle and nut. You cannot reuse this nut. You must install a new one. Remove the six E12 torque head fasteners green arrows that hold the axle shaft onto the differential flange. Some fasteners are hidden behind the axle boot. Make sure your socket is well seated before you break these loose. You will need to rotate the axle to get access to all six of them. Put the car in neutral, spin the wheel, put it back in park. Do this until you have all six bolts loosened. There is more than one way to make some room to get the axle shaft out. You can remove the lower control arm to spindle mounting bolt, or you can do what we did here. We removed the lower control arm mounting bolt on the subframe side. For additional assistance with that, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. With all the fasteners removed, move the inner CV joint away from the flange and let it rest on the rear suspension. Use a drift punch to tap out the axle shaft from the hub and the spindle it sits in. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.